Welcome everyone to Every Woman Empowered's Chick Chick Chat. And I am your host, Shauna J. Cerniak, the founder of Every Woman Empowered. And along with me are my co-hosts. Danny Galarno, international artist and resident artist of Every Woman Empowered. Neela Janu, certified laughter yoga instructor, founder of Let's Laugh Yag, and happiness ambassador for Every Woman Empowered. So so today we have no special guests. Well, that's a lie. We do have a special guest. We're going to be featuring <laughs> Jenny Galarno, international artist for today's episode, as well as we're going to do a recap on some of our incredible guests that we have had this past few months. So ladies, uh, I got to ask you, we've had so many incredible guests. Who would you say has been one of your most impactful guests that left a real nugget with you of, of uh, something that you could take home and, and resonate with? Oh, that's a, that's a biggie because we've had such amazing, amazing guests. Like seriously, I, I don't know how it's happened, but it's really been pretty fabulous. It I has. think for myself, it was, uh, Ethel, Blonde, and Andrew, and my own mentor, uh, Terry Harden-Jackson. Yeah, and why? What, what was it about them that, um, like for Terry, I know Terry is your mentor, and, and you've, you've worked with Terry, but what is something that, that what she said kind of struck home for you? Well, I think, first of all, she's always an advocate for artists. Yes. So for me personally, that works, right? Um, and I just love her vibe. Yeah. She, you know, she's just, she is just like the coolest chick ever, really. She is. Yeah, yeah. Really down to earth, really likable, chatterbox, um, <laughs> and just awesome, awesome uh, uh, words of wisdom for sure. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Ethel, I just, wow, what a dynamic woman, what an impact she's done to Canada, for Canada. 1982, yeah. she was the first woman to be, an uh, Indigenous woman to be elected in, in the uh, Parliament. Uh, so that is huge. And for those who don't know about Terry, Terry is a Walt Disney legendary Imagineer and Jim Henson puppeteer for over 30 years. So yeah, two dynamic women for sure. What about kind you? of hard to choose though. Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, I've liked everybody, really. Oh, yeah. I, yes. What about you, Neela? Same. Same as Jenny. Just like super, super grateful for all these people that we're getting to talk to that you just, you wouldn't get that opportunity if not for no. this pandemic. So super grateful for all our guests. I think I definitely pull something away from every single one. Um, mm -hmm. I, I really liked... Jamie Soleil, I think me and her, like, I th I could see us being, like, best friends. I think we are both kind of have that same sort of personality where, you know, we're, we've got this positive attitude and, you know, this drive and just this need to achieve. So I really resonated with her and what she was sharing. And uh, the other one, I, well, again, like, I, I it's hard to narrow it down, right? But... Um, another one I really enjoyed was Robbie. I thought he was just so much fun to talk to. I feel like, you know, as if we'd been friends for years and we could have just kept talking all afternoon. So it was a lot of fun chatting with him as well. He's just this super nice guy. And I think, you know, that you don't see too many of those out there anymore. So him having this huge heart and this sense of community, I just... I really resonated with that too. Yeah, Jamie Soleil being the uh, gold medalist in figure skating uh, champions with- 2002. Uh, 2002, <laughs> where I said on the air 2012. Um, and Robbie Gibson, who is a, a producer and personality on KISS 91.7. Uh, or 917, not 91.7, 917. Uh, great DJ, great guy. Uh, Robbie the intern, love him. And we also had some other dynamic men. We had uh, Will Chixie, the hairstylist to the north, who is, you know, does my hair, does Janny's hair, 
uh, as well as uh, can't forget the good looking and debonair Kwame Damon Mason, who yes. uh, is a yummy <laughs> little guy. And really, he twanged our hearts with his stories uh, in regards to when he started the filming of um, Soul on Ice, the documentary, the award winning documentary. And now he does the Soul on Ice podcast. So, yeah, some really dynamic men there for sure. I because have- every time we have. We have so many ladies and then we have a guy just thrown in there and it just mixes things up and yeah. it keeps us on our toes and oh, <laughs> keeps for sure. it interesting. It's a little flustered, that's for sure. Yeah. Bobby got me a little flustered. Um, I have to say my favorite, just like like you had yours, I know I know Neela's a fangirl of of Jamie Soleil and I'm the fangirl of Tantu Cardinal. Of course, mm-hmm. she was someone that, you know, has oh. been in the industry for over 50 years, who has impacted me as an Indigenous woman who, you know, she was the first Indigenous woman I saw on TV. And I've just been following her career ever since. And she's done so many shows, movies. She's currently on Stumptown. Uh, you know, she's an award-winning actress, phenomenal lady. And she just keeps it real. And I love yeah. that. Um, I got to say that I really also enjoyed Rachel Williamson from, who's from Britain, who's on the Netflix series, uh, 21 Again. Like, I could just chit chat with that lady. Oh, yeah. We were like as if we were all best friends and, you know, we've known each other for years instead of just meeting. So, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like, I'm just trying to think of everyone else. And then we've had some incredible friends. You know, yes. I think of Jacqueline Large Short, uh, Jacqueline Large Short. Uh, she and I went to school together. We had uh, Sabrina Sperber, who was our very first guest, <laughs> you know, a comedian, another dynamic lady. Uh, we've had, or, you know, soon to be Monica, if we haven't had her already, Monica Roman, uh, you know, who is doing great things uh, in, oh, yeah, we've already had Monica, what am I saying? Uh, <laughs> Roman, I can't even keep up. She's, you know, does fruit rescuing and makes, you know, Alberta preserves and she's in the farmer's market and she does vegan and gluten and keto foods. I mean, and these are our friends, like, yeah, wow, you know, and then... Sandra Sutton, uh, yeah. Suter, Suter, Suter. Suter. Sorry, Sandra, if you're watching, my <laughs> Suter. Uh, I can never say anybody's name right. Anyways, I just she was so incredible for Indigenous Month. She really helped us with all yeah. the questions that we had, you know, mm-hmm. um, and with with all that was going on during the month of June with Black Lives Matters and Indigenous mm-hmm. Month and murder to missing indigenous women she was answering some really hard questions yep. so thank you sandra Suter, for being incredible too so yeah i loved i loved our series in june i thought that was amazing like just a great way to celebrate indigenous people's month and i like i don't want to wait until next june i want to like keep keep the conversations going keep the diversity in our show and continue to have these conversations that are they, they are difficult, but they have to be had in order to have that progress made, right? Yes. yes. You know what's sure. been really fabulous? They've all been heartfelt. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, people have been raw with us, and yeah. it's beautiful. Yep. Yeah. Some of the stuff that we've talked about, you know, like, I mean, with we've Jamie Slate. Poop. Yeah, we talked about poop. <laughs> yeah. I mean, with Jamie Slate, who can say that we've talked, that, you know, We've talked poop with Jamie Soleil. I mean, yeah, I mean, some of the stuff we, we can. Talk about. What? <laughs> we can say that. We do yeah, that. We <laughs> <laughs> you know, they just, I don't know. I think it's just, it's really cool. I, I, what an opportunity. And, and, you know, I think back when we started this, it was just an idea. And look where it is now. And look at the dynamic people. And wait till you see who we have for our late summer fall and winter lineup people like wow i just i just keep getting more and more impressed when when we have all these dynamic people coming on board i just feel so blessed so um we're just waiting for pepsi to sponsor us we've got a pretty good team yes we do and if pepsi would just sponsor us already we'd be rocking and rolling and doing even more but you know geez gotta get the word out there 
hashtag Pepsi, get your shit together. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, you can't just... help yourself. <laughs> I might have to edit that part. If I knew how to edit properly, I'd probably edit that part out of, out of the show. <laughs> so, yeah, I think, you know, that being said, what I like is that I have two incredible co-hosts. And today we're featuring the dynamic Jenny Glarno, international artist, who also happens to be my best friend for the last, oh my goodness, uh, since 17 years. Yeah, I was trying to figure out how long it was, how old the kids were. Oh my goodness. Yeah, because uh, Tia best marker. was uh, seven, like Trilan is six, was six, and Takara was five. Five, six, and yeah. seven when they all met. Yeah. yeah. And Tia and Takara are, are Jani's daughters, and Trilan is my son. So, yeah, they were just babes. Like, I can't believe 17 years I've put up with you. Holy cow. And you, I know, amazing, isn't it? And we only look like we're 25. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'd like and, to say 21, but that would be pushing it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're no Rachel Williamson uh, being 21 for sure. So, yeah. I, <laughs> So I, I know we have some questions for you, and I guess my first, I'd like to go first, if that's okay, Neela. That's fine, um, yeah, 17 years, you get the seniority I, here. <laughs> so I guess my question to you, Jani, is you had a huge transition in your life, a health transition in your life, and yep. from that health transition, you decided to follow your dream and your passion. What was kind of the turning point throughout all that? Uh, you might want to share the story on that, but what was the real turning point where you said, yeah, yeah, that's it. This is what I'm doing full time and I'm not looking back and going back to the corporate world. Yeah, I, I did. I, I In my, my other professional job, which I totally love, but was giving me a lot of stress. We were going through huge changes and it wasn't gelling with me. Um, I don't know if it was because I was becoming a little bit jaded or I personally believe it's because I needed to leave to be able to grow. And so I wasn't growing. Um, so I, I left my job and I was still pretty sick. And uh, my husband said to me, you know, why don't you try this like art thing? <laughs> And I went, really? Like, really? And he was like, yeah, I think he should. So that was the catalyst of change that started my, my uh, I call it my road to recovery, <laughs> <laughs> to go back to art. Like, I always did art as a, as, a, as a woman and as a mother, but you know how life can get in the way. And so sometimes those dreams get a little bit squashed along the way. And uh, so when I decided I was going to pay full time, and I'll be honest, looking back now, um, it's been six, six and a half years. Um, I look at my artwork then, and I look at my artwork now, and it's like two different people. Yeah. Yeah. It's and not really different. Yeah, it is. I, I, I now really feel like I am, I found my style for me. I still do a huge variety of stuff, but you can tell when it's a Janny piece. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you yeah. know what I've also noticed is since you've been out there and you were so good at showing how you do your work, um, showing the process, showing the steps showing videos and pictures and, and helping others in their journey in, in finding their, their niche in art. There are a lot of people now trying to copy your work or imitating your work in a sense that you're, that people love what you do and they're really trying to be a Janny, but there's only one Janny. Um, yeah. But um, lots of imit was it? How's it go? Lots of imitators, uh, no duplicators. Yeah, you're the one. Yeah. You're the original. Um, I am the original because I keep evolving, right? Yes. So um, you might copy something, or I taught you how to do something before. Because I really, truly believe in mentorship. I think it's really, really important. 
um, I have great mentorship and uh, that's because I opened up my heart and my life. And so that has just like poured over top of me and, and lots of amazing things have happened because of that. So that's why I love to teach and I love mentoring and, you know, I don't worry too much about people trying to do what I do because like you said, I am me. I'm always changing. It will always look different. It'll never be exact ever. Right. Often because I don't even use the same materials. So no. Yeah. And that you do everything from portraits to murals to to furniture, to clothing, you use multi, you know, types of me multimedia, you have acrylic, you, you do so much. And it's so vast in what you do that it's, you know, and you, like you said, you're always changing. I'm always amazed at what you come up with. Me too. <laughs> well, talking about that, I, uh, you know, it was a couple of years ago that you were doing a show at Wobbleman and I saw your poppy a painting and I thought this is gorgeous like I just I love this and I came to you and said I want to do something like this and after a few sessions you helped me create this this is my Jenny inspired piece of art that I get to call my own right and it, I just I'm so thankful for you for walking me through the process and mentoring me through it showing me the I steps and you're such a great teacher. I think um, the biggest thing for me was letting go of my perfectionism while I was doing it. And I, yeah. I assume that's what most of your students face. So for everybody oh, yeah. watching, why don't you share how you kind of go through that with people and just let them just, just let it flow, right? Yeah, I think most people, uh, when they uh, come to me for a lesson, whether it's uh, a private lesson or a group lesson, we're always so tight, right? We're all kind of like, oh, no, I, I might make a mistake. I want you to make mistakes. <laughs> mistakes are how we learn. That's how we evolve. That's how we push ourselves. Um, and to maybe take away, if I can take away some of that fear, then I, I'm, I'm doing well. I, I approach art quite fearlessly. I often have no clue what I'm doing. <laughs> Sean, I'll tell you that. I have no clue. But um, I'm going, it's an, it's an experiment. It's, it's, if you don't kind of push yourself just a little bit all the time, that's why I'm always trying to learn maybe a different medium. Uh, you know, I, I do oils now too. I never used to do that. So I never used to do portraits. Um, just, yeah, you, I just, I want to, I want people to feel the freedom of creating and that it's coming from their heart and they can make something really, truly beautiful. It's like everything else. There's steps to it. And like everything else too, you got to practice, practice, practice. Yeah. I don't know at all, but I'm working hard at it. And you keep learning and evolving, like you said, and I think that's the biggest thing is just keep going, right? You're, you're yeah. not done yet. Right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you've, and you've traveled. I mean, you've gone across, you know, from Canada to the United States. I mean, heck, you've been in Vegreville, Alberta, doing <laughs> an art class. Home to, of the giant. Yeah, <laughs> you say me, Nick. <laughs> Down to like California teaching classes with the dynamic Terry Harden, you know, legendary Imagineer and Jim Hansen puppeteer, you know, so you, I mean, like your art is all over the world in England. I was in on Va um, Vancouver Island and there was one of your pieces in someone's home. Like you're, you're everywhere. You're everywhere. That is one of my goals, is I do want to be everywhere. I, I, I want to be, to continue to be an international artist. Right now, it's a little bit more difficult with uh, COVID, but you know what? I'm learning to do things 
differently. Um, yeah, one of them is I'm gonna have a YouTube channel. <laughs> so um, <laughs> what I like about that is that then I can cross stuff over too. So I could say, hey, if you really enjoyed this, you could come and see Chick Chick Chat too. <laughs> That's right, Kevin. <laughs> yeah, and is and you're YouTube, also sorry. Go ahead, oh, Mila. Is the YouTube channel is that the next big goal, or what is like that next big milestone for you? Like when you hit um, that, you're just like, wow, no, I, you know, I'm back. I have a whole series of milestones that are mm -hmm. kind of happening right now. Uh, definitely YouTube. Um, definitely. Um, I'm gonna do some more work with uh, Terry soon as things kind of open up there. Actually, I, it's pretty flattering when your mentor, and I mean, and she has done like some mind blowing stuff, asks you to do her portrait. Uh, like, that's an honor. That's a huge, uh, huge, of all the people she knows. I know. Of all the incredible artists and creators that are out there and Wow, what an honor. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Jenny, I you so I deserve know. that. That's not like, you know, that's not a big shocker. That's like, of course, of course. Why would you go with anyone but Jenny? <laughs> I mean, for Pete's sake, you did the queen's bathroom. You know, you got that mural of her in her bathroom. So why not Terry too, you know? Well, you know, some people say I get around, but don't listen to everything you hear. <laughs> Especially on the internet. Especially <laughs> <laughs> on the internet, yeah. Uh, yeah, like, I mean, this year, um, because of COVID, I mean, artists were going through two different things. Either they were shutting down and couldn't produce anything, or they painted, painted, painted. And I'm one of those painted, painted, painted people. And that's how I was able to work through all of this. I mean, we went through such a flux of change. Yeah. And uh, so I, I this year I've collaborated uh, with a couple of other different artists. Um, I've worked with uh, Maggie Slater, who's um, her her business is Industrial Growth, and she's a metal sculptor. Wow. I've never painted on metal. I've been painting on metal. Um, I've been working with another artist who does wire work. And so we've done a couple of collaborations there. I'm going to work with a, a stone worker, a, a stone Ooh. sculptor, and we're going to do some pieces together too. So um, I like to collaborate. I like to be able to do murals in different places. I, you know, the latest thing, obviously, were these these closet doors that I just finished that have just, I don't know, everybody's like, ah, so beautiful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes and you know I, I also want to mention like this is your largest gallery piece now it's not a mural but this is your largest gallery piece on canvas you just recently sold talk to us about that one yes. yeah and especially during COVID too like I know oh you can't sell art during COVID well I mean I'm Good here point. to sell you Crazy. Yes. yes, you can. Um, I've done, I mean, have I, got, have I gotten a loss? Yes, absolutely. Because I haven't been able to do any of the art walks and mm -hmm. teach my classes and go to California. I'm not able to do any of those things this year. But I have still, I'm still selling my art. And I did. I sold my biggest peach piece, which was uh, four feet by eight feet. Um, that I actually worked on in a, in a strip mall uh, here in Edmonton. And it's 3D and it's, it's all about recycling and upcycling and it's uh, got like five turtles on it. And yeah, I was thrilled. I mean, honestly, last year, um, having taken classes with uh, Terry, just everything elevated um i did live painting i had a painting go for twenty thousand dollars this know. year i still pitch myself yes twenty thousand dollars for a painting amazing. amazing no one more deserving than you jenny yeah, honestly awesome. 
Yes. And what was so cool about all of that too was that um, that's how he started off the auction. The fellow just stood up and said twenty thousand dollars, and everybody was like, "What?" <laughs> I'm like glad I was starting off in the hundreds. We just went straight to the five digits. That's amazing. So, needless to say, my goals have gotten higher and higher. And um, yeah, I, I, my, my goal right now is, uh, along with the YouTube, is learning about licensing and branding. And you know, there's a lot of things that an artist can do that will help perpetuate them forward. Uh, one is always learning more. Two is striving to see what else there is out there. How can you take what you do and um, make it fruitful? Um, so yeah, that's just kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, the one thing that I, I have to say that I enjoy about you as an artist is that you are willing to learn from others, other artists, uh, of all different types of medium. You are willing to learn different uh, techniques. You are willing to learn different types of medium. Like, even though that you're successful as you are and that you have, have done incredible as you are, you're not one of these artists that says, well, you know, I know everything. You're one of these that you're like, bring it on. I'm a sponge. I want to learn more. And I see artists that are out there in the world that are just starting off. And I, you know, I always say to them, you know what, you know, contact my friend, Jenny. She would be willing to work with you. She'd be willing to guide you. She, you know, she'd be willing to mentor you. And they don't take that opportunity. It's almost like they're either one scared or they maybe feel that they know everything, but what I've learned from you is that by you expanding your knowledge, expanding your expertise, you've also expanded your friendships, the amount of acquaintances, people in the art world, that it has made you where you are today through all this ripple effect and you give it back. Like you constantly give it back to others. And that's a unique that's very unique and not just in the art world, but just in the world altogether. In general, and, yeah. and that's what makes you in a more incredible, even more of an incredible artist and person. Oh, thank you. You know what? I, I'm very much like you ladies. I believe what goes around comes around that whatever knowledge I collect, I can share that with others. You know what? There aren't any really big secrets that you're going to learn from somebody else or whatever. Um, but I know you can know too. And as I grow and I'm finding more and more artists that are going that route versus the, this is all my knowledge. and I'm only going to hold on to it and you can't know anything. That's the old world of thinking. The new world is we can learn from one another always. It doesn't matter whether you were a beginner or whether you are Robert Bateman. Like, you know, we, we can always learn if we're willing to open those doors. Yeah. And, and I think like you ladies, you both know how to open doors. And so that, I think for me, that's why, um, it's exciting. Yeah, it is. It should be really exciting. Life is exciting. Yes, it is. I want to paint it all, and I want to put resin on everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe not people, Jenny, because that takes oh, some time to like get off people. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a little. Yeah. <laughs> I get a little much. So, if someone wants to buy your artwork see your artwork where can they find you jenny well uh right now i'm in uh the gallery in wabalum it's called uh gossamer gallery and gifts and uh lois is the owner there and she has generously opened up the two bays that are um part of that building and so we have an extended gallery there so i have 
my social distancing booth there, which is really fabulous. Um, and then I'm always on uh, Facebook. My page is Inspirations by Janny. And I'm on Instagram under Janny Galarno. And I do have a web page, but we are in the midst of trying to get that darn thing updated. So, uh, I mean, you can go to www.inspirationsbajanny, but you won't be going anywhere. Just say under construction. <laughs> And but, you're on LinkedIn? Uh, yeah, LinkedIn. And um, soon to be YouTube. Yes. Let's just cool. list everything in the comments. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I think so. I'm not on yeah. Twitter yet, but I'm going to probably have to. I haven't done TikTok, but that doesn't mean I won't. Yeah. <laughs> not the way that you, you, you got this growth mindset. You're always learning new things. Don't rule oh, anything out for Jenny. I just, I just love learning it. I, I, you know, Neela, I so appreciate you because, oh, well, okay, there's a couple of things. Shauna, I totally appreciate her because I would never be on Facebook. I wouldn't have anything. I did my own my own Instagram, and I had no clue I was doing everything ass backwards. I had no clue. And it was like, so then all of a sudden I start reading other people's, and I'm like, oh, my God, I have been like this for a year and a half. And no one person. <laughs> if you can't laugh about that, then you can't laugh about anything, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty you know. sweet. <laughs> I'm so appreciated. I really, really, really do. And Shauna, I, I mean, Shauna fix, fixes me when I screw up stuff on uh, Facebook and all the other stuff that I've done. Uh, you know what? It's all part of a process. You are never an island unto your own. Don't ever let anybody tell you anything different. It takes a full team. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need friends to tell you that you shouldn't wear Crocs when you're painting at a gala. Sometimes. Really? Mm -hmm. Really? <laughs> you mean like these? <laughs> You've seen it here first, people. You've seen it here first, okay? Yes. We're okay. still trying to train her. <laughs> she gave me a pair of pink Crocs with fur lining in them. <laughs> so I know she'll wear them in the winter. You guarantee. I will. I yeah. will. You know, I can rock them. I can <laughs> rock my blue box. I can rock my uh, Crocs. There you it's go. You sure them. can. Well, Jenny, thank you so much for, for being our special guest today. Neela, did you have any, any last minute things you wanted to say to the beautiful Jenny Galarno? Oh, just Jenny, I love you so much. Just keep doing you. Keep putting the best of you out there. I mean, when I'm your age, I hope that I'm, you know, as spunky and just like still got that fire in me and that passion as much as you do. So thank you for being you and a great friend. Yeah. Um, Jenny, when you. I'm 35, I want to be like you. Oh, oh, that's, that's just in a few days, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So thank you so much for being uh, our special guest today, today. And thank you for sharing, you know, your passion with the world. Because honestly, mm -hmm. this world is a better place with you in it and your art. So thank you very much. And for those watching, take care till next time. Bye. Bye.